happening? Welcome back. Look, I think I've been pretty consistent this week. Probably got food on my face, but I've been giving y'all an upload all week. Well, it's just the first day. I mean, all weekend I've been giving y'all uploads. Let's put it like that. And we're going to continue. Today, in the last video, I told y'all that I was going to do the fuel pump relocation thingy, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't do it because I didn't have the, the uh, aluminum. Well, I'm going to get the aluminum. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up. Uh, put it in front of the car and take that bracket out, weld it so I have my uh, that brace in there. When I got the T bracket, well, not T, it's a little L shaped bracket and uh, the angle iron. When I got some, so I'm gonna do that and I'll show y'all when it's done. I probably won't show y'all while I'm working because it takes too much time to work and show y'all everything. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Put the fuel. Pump in the front, and I'll go ahead and order the fuel filters. All right, so this is what it's going to look like, minus the channel grips right there. But it'll basically sit right here. Fuel pump will sit on top of it. Fuel pump will sit back here or over here, probably right here. I'll put a fuel filter right there. And another fuel filter back here and call it a day. One here, one here. It'll be good. We'll be A-OK. -okay. I've also been continuing to organize these uh, nuts and bolts. There's still some more over here that needs to get picked up. Still got more bins. And then there's another bin over there. But Dollar Store will get you these bins. Organize your nuts and bolts. That way you don't have to dig through them. This will be all. That's like... 12 and 14 I could separate the uh, 14s out of that but this is all 10s that's like 17s that's like I think 14s also so I could separate these the 14s out of here into there these are some nuts and wheel, wheel nuts and stuff like that lug nuts from 19s and beyond Whatever it may be. Still got more stuff to sort out and more stuff over here that I'm going to sort out and throw away. But back to the fuel pump. Short video, but got the fuel pump in here. I'm waiting for the uh, fuel filters before I had to go ahead and mount it down because probably put a filter over here and a filter on this side. And it'll just kind of snake into each other and then back out. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, appreciate you guys checking back in. This was a super short video. I was only uh, finishing up what I didn't do yesterday. So I'm not going to go ahead and combine this with any other video. I'll just go ahead and put it out there for you guys. You guys have been getting daily uploads recently. So I'm going to just go ahead and continue that. Uh, I'm going to build a little bracket for underneath the car where the fuel pump was. So that way, or I could just put the bolts back in there. But that will be in another video. Um, I'm really happy how I got the fuel pump mounted in the front. I just got to go ahead and get the fuel lines and the throttle body, and I'll go ahead and uh, start firing this thing up. Oh, and the K Pro. That's what I need K Pro. K Pro throttle body, fuel lines. But once again, man, I thank everybody for stopping by, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you do that, man. I'm trying to get to 1200. Once I get to 1200, we'll do another live stream or something. Uh, once I get to 1500 though, all the boxes with all those K-Series parts and MR2 parts, I'm going to crack them open and just give them away. Y'all got to pay shipping though. But, thanks for coming back. Peace.